this video is about recapture audio recapture recognition for recapture version in the beginning of July 2012. Now this version uh, of capture does not work anymore. It is time domain method, some kind of time domain method. Let's see the structure of the capture. The capture con consists of three bunches. Each bunch has uh, four digits. Uh, the digits overlapped and uh, white noise applied. There are two voices and uh, each voice has ten digits. Uh, if we use a sliding correlation for search for recognition, then it will be too slow because the correlation uh, has a lot of operation. It has multiplication and square root. So sparse filter idea was used. Uh, the task is to find uh, this, uh, is the task is to search a signal in another signal. Uh, the first step is uh, find a local optimums in search in signal that we search. Then in uh, for each optimum we have a plus one or minus one, uh, and uh, uh, so we ha the sparse Pass filter is a finite impulse response filter with uh, that has response uh, elements all almost all zero except uh, elements at position of optimums and uh, this elements has plus one or plus mi or minus one. Now we can apply a sparse filter to the uh, to, to find the signal. We see here that the sparse filter has uh, much less operation, it has only summation or sub subtraction. Here is a picture of the typical picture of detection. Uh, uh, the sparse filter result uh, signal has a big peak in the detected position. Before start recognition, we need to uh, collect all sounds all 20 sounds and the sounds uh, need to be most noise reduced uh, we can do it by summation of the same sound from different captures uh, so sparse filter used to detect this the same sound in different capture and detect the, the position then if we know the positions we can summarize the signal and uh, during this uh, summary, uh, uh, we can uh, during this summation we have an um, increasing of uh, the signal and uh, as n and uh, also increasing of the noise, but as uh, square root of n. Uh, so where n is a number of summation, so we have. Uh, uh, we have denoising, we, we have decreasing of uh, noise res in respect to the main signal. After that, there was uh, found that uh, the capture has uh, two voices and each voice has 10 digits. Here is the sounds. Zero. Zero. One. One, two, three. There are twenty sounds in total. It it get about eight hours to found uh, found these sounds and about four hours more to find unique sounds. Unique. Uh, Unique, unique sounds. 
and uh, it was a MATLAB code. There was used uh, there was used about two hundred captures. Now we can recognize a capture. First, before recognition, we need to uh, convert uh, uh, all sounds to sparse filters. Then the task is to recognize four digits uh, in each bunch. The bunch detector detection is not needed because uh, 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 all bunches is in about the fixed in the same place in fixed fixed positions. So the task is to recognize one bunch and apply uh, the pr procedure to rest bunches. So we have a uh, for loop for each sparse filter and apply the, the filter to a bunch and found uh, three possible positions uh, because uh, sound can be repeated. Then uh, calculate co correlation in each detected place and memorize all this correlation. And uh, after the loop uh, we get only four best uh, biggest correlation value values and uh, after that we recognized four digits the rigid uh, recognition ratio is uh, 36 and uh, that means only 30, 36 uh, captures recogni recognized from 100 and uh, time is about 0 0.6 seconds per capture for MATLAB code and if we will rewrite the code in C++, it will be in about uh, in about five times faster. I will put the MATLAB code, I will try to put the MATLAB code to MATLAB file exchange site and uh, will put the link to comments in the video. Thank you.